Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Hey B. Katie Joy is at it again. Now she sent emails to creators trying to threaten them in order for them to delete videos about her. She sent a email to Angelica Oles and an email to Creep Show Art. But before we start, do not forget to go down below and subscribe to the channel and ring that bell button so you can get notified every time I post. Also, as a quick disclaimer, I just want to remind you guys that everything we discuss here in the channel is my opinion and my opinion only not to be taken as a fact. Always do additional research from the information that you get here in the channel. Do not send any hate to the people that I'm going to be talking about in this video. Am I right? fellow adult. However, I do encourage all of you to go in the comment section and let me know what do you think about the situation. Angelica Oles posted yesterday on her Twitter a very interesting tweet. I just received some interesting emails trying to silence me by threatening to deplatform me. Can you guess which YouTuber would that be? Influencer or drama YouTuber? I would call them a drama channel, but they claim not to be one. The most interesting part of this is that Michael Saltz, Tati Westbrook's lawyer, commented on the thread. You can contact me. Only God knows what goes through the mind of this lady. She's coming after Angelica Oles once again, and hopefully Angelica will release the email so we can see what's going on. But until then, let's move on to Creep Show Art. Katie emailed me today to take my video down and CC'd her YouTube rep while still putting forth the narrative that she didn't say Sophie was a brat, despite multiple clips showing she said that. Because I know she's watching, here's my response. No, feel free to CC that, you date. Creep Show Art released her email to a YouTuber named Truth Sleuth. I'm sorry if I'm butchering your name. And then after that, I will be reading Creep Show Art's clap back to her email. Good afternoon, I'm working with my YouTube manager to try to resolve this issue that is occurring between us and he has asked me to reach out to you privately. The video you made about me last week contains information that is false. While I understand you provided your opinions about me, there's numerous misleading statements about me in the video that have caused a series of copycat videos by other creators you were connected to. Most importantly, there is a dangerous accusation that I committed perjury by taking out a restraining order against another creator for, quote, simply talking about me, end quote. There is also the insinuation that I falsely accused someone of sex harassment, which is not true. There are court documents and mountains of evidence that prove what happened to me. The judge in my state agreed with me. The restraining order was only dropped because of other pending litigation and can be refiled at any time if the behavior does not stop. Then there is blatant misrepresentation of me calling a child a quote-unquote lying brat. This is again not true. This child is a victim and I said that a million times. There is way more to the story than what is being presented on YouTube. You claim I have quote-unquote no sources, but but this is again false. I work with dozens of sources and have cultivated a network of reality stars that regularly provide me insight about the shows they are on. None of these are true. I'm asking you to remove the content from your channel. Your platform is large and because of this video, I have lost thousands of subscribers and thousands of dollars. Also to clear the air, I did not dox you. I do not have your address. I do not know where you live. I shared a public link to a website. When I shared the link, I had no idea your full name was on the link. Additionally, I shared Share the link because the other creator told me that he was making a video about you and wanted to know if other creators have accused you of lying about them. Your creator said he believed you had a pattern of misrepresenting stories. When this creator told me he was making a video, I found a series of other people that have made similar claims as me, that you put together a video that was at best misleading, poorly researched, or at worst maliciously made to harm their reputation. At least four other creators have pushed back at your presentations and several have threatened to sue you for defamation. The link contains tweets of your communication with these creators and their request to you to take down the videos. Because my YouTube manager is now involved, please do not take this email and post it publicly. I am told that working privately is what YouTube wants us to do to end this back and forth. If you publish this email publicly, then this will become evidence to YouTube that you are not willing to engage privately to settle this back and forth. It will also show a pattern of harassment by you against me. As I ask you to not speak about me, I I have no intention of publicly saying anything more about you. I'm copying my manager to this email so he has evidence of me trying to reach out to you to settle this dispute. Please understand that I am a creator that is like you, making a living off this platform. I do a job like you that commentates on others, but I do not seek to destroy anyone's reputation.
Your video against me is seeking to destroy my reputation without factual proof. Please remove this video. Thank you. And Shannon posted a poll on her Instagram asking, Should I share my email response? Because I fully went off. And share she did. And here is her email response. Katie, I am not taking the video down. I have no idea why you CC'd your YouTube manager. It feels highly inappropriate. But I don't think YouTube itself, quote, wants us, end quote, to end this back and forth. Seeing as they have no stake in it. I highly doubt that they care. Especially since the, quote, unquote, patterns of harassment you have claimed I have levied against you comes in the form of one video. I made that is protected under the commentary umbrella. If you state that that singular video is harassment, you must also claim that your over 40 videos about Tati, including the one where you say her legal name, which was not publicly known, is also harassment. Your standards are not consistent, which is alarming based on your content. Stating that you have no intention to speak publicly about me means virtually nothing. Seeing as I don't view critical videos made on me as harassment, there are plenty online and I personally learn from them and grow. Also, let's not forget you did try to make a video against me stating that I had been weaponized by trolls and outright lie only for your own subscribers to rebuke what you were saying because more videos came out also stating that you shared a link that led to my dog for another content creator to make a negative video about me is truly all i need to hear because it shows that the sharing was in fact malicious the same way screenshots i have access to also stated that it looks like there's a missing part down there, but I'm just gonna move on and read the rest. I am replying all on this. And if your YouTube manager truly does have a problem with me making one critical video on you, while you have made hundreds on various other people, I look forward to that discussion with him and only him. I would love to converse about why that is and is not okay. Do not contact me again. And then she posted on Instagram, a big bold letter saying can't wait to discuss this with her YouTube partner manager a person whose job it is to help you optimize your channel and answer basic YouTube questions not tell people to stop talking about you miss ma'am really tried to intimidate angelica old despite us both being smart enough to see through that no youtube party manager would do this or co-sign this let alone say if you make email public you would be showing a clear targeted harassment campaign that is dumb. We are not dumb. I don't know why she would try that. Actually, that a lie. I do know. Last year, after the Bye Sister video went like YouTube asked Glam Life Guru to private slash remove her video because it was causing a lot of negative publicity, it reported on that. And in her head, she thinks that YouTube would do that for every instance of drama. And since she has decided that in this situation she is James Charles, she has opted to try and weaponize her YouTube partner, a man who is probably not paid enough to deal with this. A YouTube partner is not going to spank my ass because I showed an email. He's not going to say the show's targeted harassment when nothing I have done remotely qualifies. I have literally talked about things she has done publicly. In my experience with her, to say otherwise is to lie. And that's it. That's the back and forth so far. Hopefully we'll get to know more. I don't know what to think. All I can think about it is why won't Katie shut up? So far, she lost only 2,000 subscribers since this whole situation happened. She's not even losing that much, allegedly, based on looking at the Social Blade website. But I don't know what's going on in the back end for her. But in the end of the day, it doesn't look like she's doing that badly. So I don't know why she's kicking and screaming so freaking much all over the place. She should just shut up. I said this three videos ago, but the woman won't shut up. Oh my God. Anyway, let me know what you think is going on. Why is she doing this shit? I, I really want to know what's your opinion and what's your hypothesis. If you like this video, please don't forget to drop a like. I would really appreciate that. And also go ahead now and subscribe to the channel. Ring the bell button so you can get notified every time I post. And I'm also going to leave all of my socials down below in the description box. Follow me on my socials. Thank you so much for watching and I see you guys in the next upload. Thank <laughs> you.